What is going on, everybody? It's your man, Love Life. I'm going to welcome back to Love Life and Games. <laughs> now, we're about to continue to get up on this thing, which is the Silent Age. Yeah, and uh, I hope y'all ready, because I know I'm ready. Y'all ready? Yes. Do this. Uh. Yeah, yo, I finally did it. I finally did it. That area that I was in, that dark sewer tunnel, that, that dark sewer tunnel that I was in, I actually went inside the dark sewer tunnel and I and I was playing with my lighter and all of a sudden it brought me here because I did not know how to get to this area. It was very difficult. But I said, you know what, let me go back down to the tunnel. I went to that tunnel where, where you have to go in. You have to go in that dark tunnel. You take out your lighter, you start flicking it. I started flicking my light in the middle, in the middle of the dark. I started flicking my light, my lighter in the middle of the dark and all of a sudden it brought me here so that's what you have to do you have to get in the middle of the dark uh in the tunnel and you have to start flicking your lighter and it'll bring you here and this is why i'm here right now because i was flicking that lighter jack it was no it was no gas i didn't have nothing in my lighter i was just flicking it it was just flicking and it just brought me here okay so now i just need to freaking I bet I could cut through a car with this saw. Uh, oh, oh, shucks. I did it. Okay, let's go. Yes, baby. All right, come on. Is that a syringe? Yes. Ooh, with a syringe, paramedics must have dropped it down the drain. Hmm, I can see the hospital sign through the grill. I must be right in front of the entrance. You gotta be. You gotta be right in front of the entrance. And I cannot forget that I can press my jump right here too. Oh snap. I gotta grab these uh, walk with walk to rubble. Yeah, it's a bunch of wood beams. Must have been left by a hobo who never finished his fort. Okay, can I burn this? Man. <sighs> All I get is spark. Maybe I can add some flammable to the wood to help it get started. Yeah, it's a bunch of wooden beams. Must have been left by a hobo who never finished his fort. Hmm, it's a pile of building materials, mostly wood. The syringe is empty, but the idea isn't bad. If I can find a flammable fluid. Hmm. Maybe I can freaking get me some fluid while I'm up here. I think that paint bucket, maybe that paint... Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me check something. Wait, maybe this right here will help. Yeah, yeah, the syringe and the turpentine. Yeah, dump that on. Nothing suspicious going on here. There, the syringe is full of turpentine now. Yeah, do do do. Nothing serious is going on. No, no, no. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Nothing serious is going on here. Nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah, go ahead and put this on the daggone wood. The wood is soaked in turpentine now. Man, that stuff smells heavy. All right, can this lighter do it? Whoa. Yes, whoa. My sleeves almost caught fire. That thing completely off the hook. I should use way less turpentine the next time I start a sewer fire. Now nah, you good, bro. You good, brother. You was good. You was good. You was good, my guy. You don't need to use less or nothing. You good to go. Okay, we got that smoke going on. Okay, so maybe since we got that smoke going on, they probably will come out. Let's see if those, uh, let's see if they will come out. Oh, I thought it was smoking where they was at. Oh, there it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it go. Yes. Okay, take that. You strike murderers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it on the bees. Yes. See, I think I could probably go in there now. Yeah, the bees are gone. Yes. Let me go on up in there now. 
Can you go in there? Go in there. It's open. Yes. Thank you. Chapter 5, The Corpse. Ah, oh, man, I did it. Alright. Let's walk to the garage first. Alright, what's in the garage? Oh, a nice ambulance, though. Hmm, the tank sounds full. I just need to reattach that wheel before the mechanic comes back. Okay, you just gotta reattach the wheel. It's a real beauty, almost as cool as a fire truck, almost. Okay, it looks like someone is changing the tire. If I could just find some tools to finish the job, this ambulance could prove really, uh, could prove really useful. Okay, you just gotta find the tools. Ouch! Ouch! There's still juice in this battery. Can you put it in the hood? I think the battery's good. I won't, it won't do much good in that three-wheel car, though. You just can't go ahead and put it in there early? Hey, man. You suck, bro. <laughs> I know you don't. I guess I got... It's an electric one, so there should be a switch in there by. Oh, yeah, yeah. It might be this right here. The garage door opens. Yeah, I see that this. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, I was about to say, I did not want to leave just yet until. Okay, okay, I gotta get that. Yes. Thank you. It's a sturdy tire iron. Good job. Good job. Good job. It's locked. Is this one locked? This one locked too. Mm, I'm sure someone smarter or stronger than me could pull that off. <laughs> Yo, you crazy. It's locked. Oh, that one open. Yeah, let me go up in there. Ooh. I hear a clock or something. Uh, it's full of uh, medical mumbo jumbo and the word hematology growth rate pandemic and a note that says I took your stapler. Now we're even, asshole. <coughs> Cough, man. That's dusty. Hang on. That's today. So this was the day everything stopped. The last day of mankind. <laughs> Dr. Phelps. <laughs> okay, anything in the drawer? It looks like the floor caved under the weight of the desk. I see. What? Where you going? Oh my god. We got a freaking daggone skeleton on the table. You got to be kidding me. Oh. And some scissors. Ow. They are still remarkably sharp. Okay, it's a spotlight. Yeah, how the heck do I freaking get back up top, though? Hmm, Walter Skeleton. Nothing but a pile of bones and stripes of clothing. Hmm, I can see right through him. No need to cut anything. Real talk. Hey, yo, what is going on? What has went... What has been... It's just a wall lamp. Okay, what has been going on, though, for real? Hey, man, I think I... Oh, no, 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 I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta see that guy, though, where he was fixed up. The toe tag. Hey, he's dead. It was a long shot, but I kind of hope... Uh, he has somehow survived. The only one way to get the answers now, I guess I need to find out where he lives. <laughs> well lived, well lived. Toe tag. Uh, Reginald Lambert, no address. They probably don't pull stuff like that on, on these tags, I guess. It has a file number too. If I could find this guy medical file, I should be able to get his address. Hmm. I need to get back up top, man. 
Hey. These shelves are full of jars and weird things in them. Placenta. I think I had one of those at Lizzie's once. Really good. Had an olive on it. This looks nothing like uh, the sandwich, though. Oh, no. Nah, now nah, you ain't had no placenta on no freaking daggone sandwich. Uh-uh. Nah, bro, that's disgusting. You ain't had no placenta on no freaking sandwich. It's locked from the outside. I don't want to think about <laughs> why that's necessary. All right, let's go. Okay, I think I can go back upstairs. Okay. He seems very focused on whatever it is he's busy with. I better not disturb him. I better not. If I start asking about the dead guy next door, I'm sure he'll start asking me a ton of questions and I don't have any good answers. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. It's the inside of some guy, obviously, but I don't have no idea what any of this stuff is. Most of it looks really bad balloon animals. Most of it look like really bad balloon animals. <laughs> Yo, there's a key in there. Grab it. It's a car key. It looks like it's for, uh, for the uh, ambulance. I have no idea why a doctor would keep a spare key in his desk, but I'm not complaining. You better not be complaining. Shoot, I won't be complaining either. Shoot. <laughs> Good job. Good job, my guy. Good job. Mm, it's locked from the outside. I don't want to think about what, <laughs> why that's necessary. That must be for that other room then that I just came out of. All right, let's go on upstairs. We're going right back upstairs. Let's go. Nice. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get back upstairs again. Shoot. Good job. Okay, I don't see all this. I don't think I went over here yet. I messed with that file drawer. Bingo! These are patient files, and of course, the cabinet's locked. Oh, I got the key. I got the key. I'm afraid it's a car key. Oh man, jeez, I thought that was it. Anything in here? Drawers are stuck, but I can't imagine what I need in there anyway. Hmm, it's just a worn desk. Nothing special about it. All right, what's this paper? Nope, it's no good. Uh, looks like an upside down tree of some kind. Nah, that's not a that's not a freaking upside down tree. That's your freaking inside. That's your freaking organs, your lungs, my guy. But you don't know nothing. Sometimes I wonder if that's how doctors actually see people. But you a trip. Hmm. E, another E, another E E E. It's an E. They should really mix up the letters. It's way too easy to cheat on these tests. It's a bunch of E's. Oh man, this dude is so clueless. So sad, he is so clueless. I mean, I'm thinking you would think he would know what all this stuff is before the, the freaking world went to crap. You would think he would know all about it. I mean, my man act like he freaking live in the daggone cave. Like he don't know nothing about it, which is sad. Ugh. There's no power. Okay, this that's the um that's the freaking ambulance key, but I will have to use it on when it's yeah when it's fixed up neatly. The ambulance is missing the wheel. All right, I, the tank sounds full. I just need to reattach the wheel. I can't reattach the wheel just yet. Come on, the ambulance is missing the wheel. Okay, I see the wheel right here, my guy. I got the wheel. Yes, looks like someone is changing the tire. Look, look, I got the wheel. Come on, let's put it up now. Let's put it up now. Get it. It's a new tire. All pumped and ready to go. I just need to, uh, some tools to... Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Yes! There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, let me go ahead and put this in here. Hmm, I still have no idea where to go. I need to find out where the time travel lives. Oh, man. Shoot. Oh, yeah, I still gotta put the battery in, though. Hmm, this isn't working. Yo, it's ready to go. I just need the time traveler's address. Okay, so you won't let me freaking leave until I get the time traveler's address. You won't even let me put the freaking battery in the daggone. You won't even let me freaking put the battery in there until I figure out where he lives. I won't get <laughs> far on foot. 
getting here was hard enough, and that was barely a block and a half. Wow. I think I learned enough hard. I think I learned enough hard truths about my shape for one day. I'll never get out of town without a car. Okay, so now you just need to figure out where he lives. Hmm. The officer is still questioning that guy right in the lobby. I can hear them through the door. So if you can hear them, I really don't want to get caught. I just need to find the time traveler and get out. I don't think so. I work harder getting here than I ever have in my life. I'm not leaving now. I need to find the time traveler. Okay, well, let's go ahead and try to find the time traveler there, my guy. Because obviously your butt ain't trying to go nowhere right now. It's locked. Hmm. I don't know, man. This might be the time traveler right here. Oh, got it. Yes, I used the scissors to cut the freaking toe tag. Nice. Okay, that's the address. Gotta be the address. Okay, let's get up out of here. That gotta be the address. I knew them scissors were for... I knew them scissors were good for something. Gotta be his freaking address. Yeah, let's go. I'm about to blow this pop stand. Let's go, baby. We did it. Yeah. All right, let's go, man. We good. We are good. Yeah, we good. I just rechecked everything. We good to go. All right, it's time to get up out of here. Y'all got a freaking toe tag. It's time to go. All right, go ahead and put that freaking up in the engine. It's time to go. I can't? What you mean you can't? I still have no idea where to go. I need to find out where the time traveler lives. But maybe I need to disturb that guy now. Maybe that guy will tell me where he live at. Because this is a guy. Maybe I can ask him about this freaking toe tag. He seems very focused on wherever he is, uh, he is busy with. I better not disturb him. Dang, so how in the heck do I freaking find out where you live at? Yeah. Time makes fool of us all. Whoever said that didn't know what the heck he was talking about. It's obviously makes skeletons, not fools. <laughs> Nothing but a pile of bones and stripes and clo of clothing. Let's go, man. Let's go. I, I still gotta figure out the freaking address. What am I what am I missing right now? I don't know how to read any of it. It's all written in doctor's handwriting. Mm, might as well be Chinese for all I know. <laughs> that's what I be saying about stuff. When I can't understand stuff, I be like, man, that's Chinese. Mm, I could sure use the light, but there is no power. Can I hook it up to this battery? Wow. Uh, amazing. It actually works. I really didn't think it would. Nice. Uh, it sure lights up the place. Okay. So what So what does this mean? Oh, a key. Oh, is that a key? Yeah, it's a key. A little small, a little small to be a door key. Maybe it's for a padlock or something. Mm, maybe it's for a padlock or something. Well, it didn't say something. I'm saying something, but it said maybe it's for a padlock and something else. Okay, so that worked. Okay, um, anything in this file? Can I go in this freaking file drawer right here? No? Okay, I gotta leave. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, okay, okay. It ain't nothing in here. Okay. All right, leave out of here. Okay, that battery went to that light. Now, that was unbelievable. That was beautiful. 
Alright, let me go to this room right here. Yeah, definitely gotta be for the definitely gotta be for the file cabinet on the far end. Yes, perfect fit. It's open now. Alright, let me see. Ooh, these are patients' files, alright. Too bad they all have file numbers and not names. I need the right number to find his file. Hmm. I need the right file number so I can get the time traveler's address. Oh my god. Reginald Lambert. For a guy from the future, he, sh he sure has a disappointing name. I would have imagined Zorg or maybe Spax. <laughs> Zorg or Spax is kind of godlike. That is like a godlike name. Zorg. Spax. <laughs> that is a freaking godlike name, boy. I'm telling you, I like that. Jackpot! Lambert Medical Files. It has the an address on it. One Ensel Grove, Lake uh, something. That's pretty far out of town. I already got what I needed. Uh, there's really nothing else I wanted here. Okay, so I gotta use the address now that I have on file. Use the address with the file. Um, use the address with the file cabinet. Okay. Alright, okay, let's go. They sure don't freaking use it. I just had to freaking put the dag on toe tag with the file cabinet. I had to look at the toe tag and I had to look at it on the file cabinet. That's all I had to freaking do. Alright, let's go. We out of here. Yeah, we out of here. Time to go, baby. Let's go. Put the freaking dag on keys in there. Let's go. Roll, roll. That's right. Roll, roll. We out of here. Oh, look at that. I like that. I like the little driving cutscene. That's nice. Here, out on the road, everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget all about the dead world back there. Feel good, don't it, boy? How could Lambert have survived, though? If he came from the future, how did he not die along with everybody else? Wow. I just saw his body in the morgue now driving out to talk to him alive. How does that work? Hmm. Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are the copies of me all over the place now? Hmm. What if he's not there? What if I change something and he's not alive at all? Well, you just got a lot of questions, don't you, boy? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Come on, man. Don't be talking like that. Come on. Maybe this will be my last days along with everybody else's. Come on, man. You're just going through a lot. Ugh. The thought, the thought ties my stomach in knots. No, I better just not think about it and carry on. Yeah, man. You're just overthinking things, boy. Did I bring enough gas? Well, you was just, you you doing too much. God, I hope I brought enough gas. Well, you just doing too much. You doing too much. Oh, to be continued. Oh, wow. Wow. So you got to buy this. You can't play this? Wow, so that's it. You got to stop right here. You got to pay for the second episode. Okay, well, I guess I got to back up then because I don't have part two. And you actually got to purchase part two if you want to continue this joint. Okay, well, it was fun while it lasted. I like this joint. You definitely cannot move. Okay, that's pretty much it. That was the Silent Age. I just want to say this game was freaking amazing. I liked it. While it was not really chock full of action, it was still cool to be looking for somebody from the future. Man, he looking for this older guy. He looking for this old guy. He just trying to figure out what's going on, what happened. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure he don't even know what's going on with his own life. Yeah, he don't even know what's going on with his own life, and he don't even know what's going on in the world. All he know is that he just going all around looking for clues, and he just trying to figure out what's going on so he can find this old dude. But this is a very interesting game where you're running around collecting stuff, trying to figure out what happened in the past. Well, in the present. You're trying to figure out what happened, I guess, in the past, in the present, and you want to know what's going to happen in the future. I'm pretty sure he has tons of answers like that. He want to know what happened in the present, in the past, and he want to know what's going to happen in the future. Because I would definitely want to know all three. I would, I, I would be like, okay, what happened in the past? What happened? Because I don't know what happened at all. Uh, uh, and what's going on today right now in the present? What's going on in today's, in today's world? And what's going to happen in the future? Like, I'd be asking all these type of questions. So with him gathering all this stuff and getting this ambulance and going off to see this dude, I'm pretty sure he got a lot of questions. Just like he was asking all them questions to himself too while ago. He was asking all those questions. If this guy's dead, how was he still alive? Like he is just so curious. Like I would be very curious just like him. I would be very curious. I believe it's a clone of that guy. It's a clone. I'm pretty sure that man met himself in the past, and they talked. And then the other, and the, and then the other guy, he just went to wherever he was supposed to go to. I'm sure he met himself. I guarantee you, he met himself. And he probably told himself something very important. But anyway, my man, he went off to go find him in the ambulance. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a long conversation. And I'm just so curious to see what's going to happen on, on, uh, on the next episode. But like I said, you definitely got to purchase that. You definitely got to purchase that to continue with to see what's going to happen next. But that's crazy, though. It makes you think about stuff like that in real life. Like, if something like that would really happen in real life, like, how would you be? How would the world be if you was the only ones alive and you had to go meet somebody? Like, you would have a ton of questions. You'd be, wondering, you'd be worrying about what's going on yourself in the world. What happened? And somebody left you some uh, information that you had to collect. You'd be going all over. A lesser, smarter person wouldn't know what to do. But a person with a, with a brain, they'll know what to collect. They'll know what to collect. They'll know, they'll know who to go see. But a lesser person that's not smart, they'll probably die trying to figure it out because they wouldn't be smart enough. Oh, wow. That dude, he going off in the ambulance asking a million questions to himself. He's curious about what's going on, and he's driving to get him some answers. He got that address and he's driving to get him some answers and he's going to get his answers because he has been through a lot in this short period of time. So he is curious. And I definitely want to get my hands on the next episode. I definitely do. But hopefully I'll be able to do that later on. I'm so curious to see what's going to happen to my man and to see what's going to happen to that other guy. I'm so curious and I cannot wait. He is driving to go see him right now. I wonder how it's going to turn out. And hopefully, I'll find out later. But that is it. Before you can go on, you need to pay for the next episode. And hopefully I'll be able to do that later. But that is it. The gameplay ends right here. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up. Pick, uh, hopefully I'll be able to pick it up later in the future. But this was a fantastic game, The Silent Age, Episode One. This was fantastic. But that is it. Once again, I'm about to get on up out of here. This your man, Love Like Apple. Thank you for tuning in to Love Liar Games. 
Y'all take care. Love you guys. And I will definitely see you all in the next video. This episode got me thinking, boy. It really got me thinking. Where is he going to to meet that guy? And what's going to happen next? I just may know, or I just may never know. But hopefully, I find out. Until next time, I'm gone.